This is a pretty common scene in a bike shop as far as stripped out pedal threads. Um, so typically what we do to re fix this type of repair is just to replace the crank arm, but in the case of this crank, it's one of these uh, SRAM power spline um, interfaces there, so it's kind of a weird spindle. Um, spindle to crank arm interface and it's not a crank arm that's readily available so it's either replace the whole crank set and bottom bracket or we could attempt to just repair the threads here which are pretty well gone just a normal tap to clean those up wouldn't work so um, what we did was we have one of these uh, Unior pedal thread repair kits and uh, kind of the way that little uh, tap works there. It cleans the existing threads out and then rethreads it from a 9 16th up to a 5 8 left and the right side because the threads are going to go two different directions and then you basically thread this little insert in and you can go your take your 9 16th pedal right back into that. So um, yeah, so that's what we did in this case. You can see here I've got the I've got the uh, little tap in there and I've got the metal cleaned out. I started a video on this but I just didn't record it right so basically we're at that point. Um, basically it's just a matter of turning the little tap there until it you know reams it out there till you get to the thread portion. I put some got plenty of cutting fluid on it there that I put on off camera. Um, yeah as far as normally I'll use like a T-handled holder um, but the park when we had the TH2 uh, it just it wasn't quite big enough to fit onto the little uh, onto the tool there so I just had to improvise and use a crescent wrench here which it worked okay probably wasn't the quickest and most efficient way but it worked so anyway we're just threading this in here and I went ahead and you know rather than got the threads cut and then back it out I just you know, ran it usually this is what I'll do on pedal taps just run it all the way through um, you know another thing it's probably easiest if you uh, actually remove the crank from the bike to do this because it it's requires some a little bit of force to turn that uh, tap in there so uh, yeah just by putting the crank in some soft jaws there some aluminum jaws so it doesn't mar up the crank arm keeps a good hold on it there so you can work your tool through it there and uh, yeah, that uh, it ended up cutting the threads really well. Um, I was going to put a link in the description to purchase this tool, but um, it basically comes as a kit, and you know it's about 230 bucks for the whole kit and 10 of each of the of the little inserts on each side. So it's not really a cost-effective thing unless you're going to do you know multiple crank arm repairs here. So um, anyway, that's what it looked like when I gave it some nice clean threads there. Uh, you know, and typically uh, there's, you know, that's our little insert there. And so I had to experiment a couple different ways to get this in. Um, it, you know, you want to put essentially some Loctite, use the red Loctite here from the insert to the crank arm interface. And then you want to have just normal grease on your, uh, uh, your pedal to insert interface there so um, so kind of going back to this thing being stripped out in the first place and what causes that uh, there's kind of some misconceptions of I've seen uh, just some descriptions of folks saying that the pedal was too tight or um, I don't know things like that but the two most biggest causes that I see is either Normally the pedals just was not installed tight enough to begin with, um, so it can walk around a little bit in that in the crank arm, you know. And then two, if it's a pedal with without a, a flange on the end of it where it contacts the crank arm, like in the case of this pedal I'm installing now, you definitely want to use a pedal washer. Uh, sometimes if you're gonna, you know, the person riding the bike is gonna get a little aggressive, you know, maybe doing some jumping or I don't know, just getting getting rowdy on the bike and whatnot that those two flats can work their way into the aluminum and 
that's what it looks like happened to this one. You could see kind of a some witness marks of where it was kind of mushroomed up around the end, which is pretty good telltale sign that the pedal was loose or the flats were working into the crank arm there. So, um, so basically, I got this one threaded in, set it up to where the threads on the outside were just flush, and then I got my pedal washer in there and just torqued it down really good. Um, you know, there's a little bit, probably two or three millimeters of excess on the back side of this one which can be cut off or ground off or whatever there's so much clearance on this one I just chose to leave it on there but anyway yeah that's going to do it for this video hopefully you found it informative uh, I've got plenty other videos in my channel um, with other bike repairs tutorials all kinds of stuff so please consider subscribing if you're not already a subscriber thanks for watching we'll see you guys next time